Hello, welcome back to the Blooming Head channel. My name is Dao Jagede once again. I'm happy to be here. Hello, welcome back to the Blooming Head channel. My name is Dao Jagede once again. I'm happy to be here. It's a beautiful Sunday. You can tell from what I'm wearing. Just coming back from church. So, um, if you remember this project, we started a, a, a few weeks back. It's finally completed. The rehab is completed. I'm going to show you what we have inside. But before then, if you like my outfit, let me know. I'll hook you up with my uh, tailor, fashion designer, whatever you call it. But He's a very good friend of mine, he can hook you up. And one more thing, uh, you're going to enjoy the video today. My wife is back, she's in the house, so she's helping with the video production. So I don't have to talk and record, so that makes it very easy for me to do all the talking while she do all the recording. So, let me take you inside, let me tell you, well, let me show you what it looks like finally. The project has taken seven weeks, you know. When I started, I told you it was probably between six to eight weeks. We finally finished uh, at the end of the seventh week. Only thing left is just the little cleaning inside. So. Come along, let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to show you the blue tape so you know what I'm talking about. So, follow me and thanks for always watching. I appreciate it. So, here am I inside this uh, property. If you remember, it's a three bedroom, two bath. The master bed when we started wasn't really good. We had to put sheet truck and everything. We made some few changes during the renovation, which I explained to you. If you missed that, check the video for episode uh, two of the video. All right, so here we are on the inside. Um, what I like about this property right now is how we have turned the pantry into a study room. I like when a property has a study. Another good thing we've done is we actually made it an open concept where we took out the wall. We took out the wall, we added a beam and to make sure it looks good. Let me show you what I'm talking about so that you understand that. When we started, this wasn't here at all. This was not here. There was a wall all the way from here. I think it stops around this place. So if you missed that, check out uh, the property walkthrough and the demo. Uh, but what we did was measuring the size of the house, with, you, know, the, uh, you know, the weight and uh, looking at how it's going to be able to stand. We added the beam. By adding the beam, we were able to clear out the wall. Now, this makes the house a little bit bigger. It looks bigger. And that gives us the open concept. So when you walk in, this is where you can have maybe your dining table, you know, you have enough space, then you go in into the living room. So that gives us a very good space. As you can see, I can walk all the way back to the living room. I love the space, I like the way it makes it look bigger by just breaking that wall and adding the bin to it. And I also like the color of the bins, you know, very chocolate brown, it's really, really good. So if you are in this house now, it gives you that illusion that is very, very big. So that's really good. That's one of the things I like about the update we've made to this property. So, let me show you the library next. Alright, so here we have, this is one of my favorite spots in, in, the, in this property. Sincerely, I like when a home has a study, or maybe you call it a library, or you can call it a home man, man cave, you know. Uh, when we bought this property, one of the things was this was a pantry. Now, remember there was no wall here. We had to create the wall, we had to create the French door to make sure that we can get access to this house. So what we did was we decided like rather than we have a pantry here, there's a door to the pantry from the kitchen which I'll show you next. We've actually blocked the door anyways. But we blocked that door, we created a new door here and now we have a study room or you can call it a library. Okay, so you might see me with some blue tape. This is what a blue tape does. When you're working on a property and you're working with a contractor, if there's anything that needs to be done and is not fully completed, you put a blue tape right there. Now, that helps the contractor to know that maybe there's a cleaning, there's something that needs to be fixed. Take for instance, now I, I'm walking around, remember this is we are completed. I see one or two things that needs to be done or to be cleaned. I put a blue tape so that when next my contractor comes in on Monday, she can actually fix it. So, this is an example. I see that the cup, you know, the paint there is chipping away. So I'm going to put, put a blue tape right there so that that can be fixed by the time the team comes in on Monday. So 
Um, anyway, I'm going today to see some blue tape. You might see a little bit of little things here and there that needs to be fixed. So that's why I have the blue tape with me, uh, so that my contractor can actually, you know, fix it. And you might see blue tape all over the places. Even though we have this completed, I have to do a walkthrough, put the blue tape right there, then the contractor comes back, she fixes it, then I will now come with the contractor again to work everything to make sure that it's in, sh it's in shape. Everything I said they should do, they've already done it. So, um, let me take you into the study room. Here we are right now in the pantry turned to study room. As you can see, it's very, very large. It's quite big. Let me just show you where the entrance is to be that leads to the kitchen. So, there used to be a door here. There used to be a door here. What we did was, you know, from the pantry, we go to the kitchen, we close this wall out, then we created the door that I, I just came into that I showed you earlier. So, close out this wall, then make this place a very nice story room. I think this is big enough, you know, for a family, either a couple or single, you know, you can have your meeting. In this day and age of remote work, so I wanted to have a property that has uh, its own story. Even though we're selling it, I like the fact that it definitely adds value to the property. So let me take you to the kitchen, so you will see what the kitchen looks like. It was the total area that we did in the kitchen. From the kitchen, I will take you to all the rooms. We have three bedrooms in this property. So come along. Just like a spark that's breaking out Can't make a stop, can't turn back now You know that there's no room for doubt No, we can't turn back now. So, one good thing I like about the kitchen, the renovation we made here, is how we actually move this um, our cabinet. You know, when we started this area, uh, this cabinet was actually here. So we have a cabinet that goes all the way from here, all the way up. So this was here. Then during the rear, my contractor just said, hey Daniel, how about I move this here and I create a different cabinet right here just for coffee. So what we did was she totally took this out, make it you know, to be in the middle of the kitchen. And I really, really like the green. I like the way she did. Maybe she wanted it to be the same thing as <laughs> what I'm wearing today, you know, I'm on green too. And my wife is actually wearing green also, so I think today is the green day. So, um, she created this island, you know, right here. I like the top, I like the countertop, it's really good, the granite. The countertop is lovely, you can see it's very shiny. She also made an extra, you know, uh, countertop here, which is for the coffee. So, we have two uh, countertop, the main one and the extra one. As you can see, I still have a couple of paint stuffs, you know, hanging around. This is for, for the blue tape. So when I put a blue tape there, they need to fix things, they need to paint a few things. So this is what this is for what for touch-ups. So they're gonna touch it up. And I put as you can see the old kitchen is in green. So that was really really good. Um actually they just fixed the uh the cooktop and the uh dishwasher today. So I I, I met one of the contractor guys, they fixed it while I was trying to get the video going. Uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, you know cleaning is gonna go on here. If you notice, there's a little bit of dirt here and there. And I just found another place where I can put a blue tape and I'll show you right now. So right here at the bottom, as you can see, this is a little bit cheap. So I put a blue tape right there. Then the contractor is going to work on that. Uh, I'll show you by the time I'm doing the final walkthrough. Uh, when I'm doing the final walkthrough and what the property looks like, uh, you'll see all the blue tapes will be gone. This, is, uh, this goes all the way to the garage. I'll show you the garage later at the end of the video. So, the kitchen came out very, very good. Uh, I like the granite countertop. The black splash is very, very good. You know, uh, I think the green really goes well with the uh, white uh, backsplash. This is new. Uh, the cooktop is new. Everything is basically new. The dishwasher is new. Um, this 
And this is really fantastic, you know, painting everything green, uh, making it look good. Another thing my contractor did well was the faucet. We actually got the faucet on Amazon. Uh, she wanted it to be bronze. I, 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 I allow my contractor to take the liberty to actually, you know, add something they think would be good so that she also knows what we're trying to achieve and she knows more than me a little bit, you know, even in the real estate when it comes to what the customer wants. So, we literally just fixed this. As you can see, she wanted to go for bronze and uh, this is what we have. So, and also one more good thing is I like when the sink is large, you know, sometimes you have a sink that has a partition that they will make it, you know, one and two sides. But I like it when everything is just open like this. You know, you want to wash the dish, you want to defrost. Uh, I like when it, it's like that. Like I said, you might see some blue tips across everywhere. That is just me telling them literally to work that needs to be done. And uh, finally in the kitchen area, this is where the fridge is going to go. Uh, the French door um, fridge. That one gives you, you know, when you have this big fridge and it goes all the way to the top. So that's really good. Oh, well, I know I said before you go, one last thing I forgot to mention is where is the pantry going to be? Remember, we turned the pantry right here into the study room. So let me show you what the pantry is going to look like. It's not a very big pantry, but remember we have cabinets all around. So the cabinet is going to replace where they put stuff. So let me show you the little pantry that uh, the property is going to have. So in this case, this is the pantry. Uh, we cleaned up the pantry. We added an extra layer of shelf. Uh, we still need a little bit of cleaning here and there. But as you can see, you can hang your spice, you can you have enough shelf to put things around. If you are the type that eat out, you probably don't need that big of a pantry. But I think uh, this should do, you know, for a family of uh, four, five, or six, as the case may be. So yeah, that's the kitchen. I like the light, I like the way everything looks good, I like the green, and I like the fact that you know I listen to my contractor to move the cap. Um, to move the, uh, you know, the table to the center, you know, to really move this uh, to the center, this half uh, to the center right here. So it gives it a different vibes and we have enough space right here. So uh, that's about it for the kitchen. Let me just show you the living room quickly before I go to the room. I like one of the things that was uh, remodeled there. So I'll show you that then we'll go into the other rooms. So follow me. Um, this is just um, 
this is uh, just a cabinet and this is a space where you uh, just uh, hang, hang your clothes. Uh, let me show you. That is the closet. We actually have two closets right here. So that is closet one and also we have uh, closet two. So, you know, the property has enough space. So we have two closets right there. And right across the closet two is the bathroom. Uh, the bathrooms is going to serve room two and three. So I'm going to show you the bathroom right now. Then uh, you see it was a total rear. See what it looks like. The bathroom is on this other side. So we took out the old cabinets in the bathroom, we changed the wall, painted it. Uh, there used to be a door right here. There used to be a door that leads to this room. We turned that room into the master because it's way bigger and we added its own bathroom to it. Then we closed this out. So as you can see, now it looks more exclusive just for room two and three. Room one has its own self uh, um, um, master bath. So, um, can you show what the shower looks like? You know, we took everything out, added new towels, make sure the shower, new bathtub, everything is brand new right there. Alright, so here I am in the middle going into the rooms. This is the master bed. I'm gonna go through that last. This is um, bedroom two and right here is bedroom three. But before I go, if you check out the first video, you will notice this floor is totally redone. The floor in the bedroom is totally different from the floor we have in the living room and the bathroom. So this floor was totally done. We changed everything out. You will notice the floor in all the bedrooms are the same. We want to make sure that you know people go and do a lot of stuff in the bedroom running around and stuff so we put the one that is very you know a little bit uh, dark to make sure that you can withstand any stain of death so let me show you the bedroom two uh bedroom two and three is going to share the bathroom right now so this is bedroom two um if you remember very well this was the room that had no walls you know we had to add all the new sheet rocks Everything was just empty beer. I'm sure you'll be like, what are we going to do with this place? But I was thinking this was going to be the master uh, bedroom. But like I said, my contractor, she's been doing this for a few years. For a few years. She was like, hey, Daniel, how about we just make this room smaller? Let's make it bedroom too. Rather than turning uh, this into the bathroom, let's just create a wall and make that the master. So what we eventually did was we just created a closet here. We put the wall across to make sure that we create the closet. I'll show you the closet in a few, in a few minutes. And everything else just went to the other room to make it the master. So, um, sometimes when you're doing this, you have to think on your feet as you get along. So anyways, this is the, it's a really like a small closet. But this is what we have, you know, it's like an L shape. So as you can see, this is just, this is the door, this is my hand. We created an L shape closet for bedroom two. And uh, that is enough based on the size of what we have. Uh, I can't remember the first square foot of the property. I have to check the records. But I think it's something in here 1400 or 1800 square foot. I'm not sure. But yeah, so bedroom two, that is what we have. And uh, let me show you bedroom three. Then I'll finally take you to the master.
All right, here I am in uh, bedroom three. This bedroom actually is the one that has the least uh, work to be done. But like I said, I have my blue tape. I just found something that needs to uh, be improved on. So let me show you this. Uh, hopefully the camera can zoom in into this. I just, uh, this is not done. Uh, this needs to be uh, cut very well. I think uh, all this, this one all the way down needs to be done. So, uh, so that's it, you know, uh, like I said, you keep working on it, you see things that need to be improved. And that is why I have my blue tape with me today. So I added this, we added the, the door uh, to make sure that the closet uh, has its own uh, privacy and you know you can close your close it up. So we added this, it can slide both ways, it can go in that way, so that is really good. So uh, this one goes for that. A little bit of cleaning that needs to be done also here. You can put your shoes on that staircase, on that stairs. So I think uh, that's about it. This was the room that had the least amount of work. But definitely, as you can see, even though it has the least amount of work, something still needs to be done. But the rehab is completed. We just need to do some little touch ups and cleaning. Let me show you the master, then I'll go straight to the garage. So, here we are in the master bedroom. Remember, like I said, this was supposed to be the bedroom too that had the door to the bathroom, but we closed it out so that we can make this the master. So the door used to be right here on my left. We close this door right here. Then now we have the master. So um, as the camera comes in, she's going to show where the door used to be. Everything is has been closed out. And that gives us that space that we have here. Um, we added the door to the um, closet and we added a brand new bathroom. You know, the bathroom, the, the toilet, everything is brand new. Uh, you know, created this pathway to add it here to make this the master bedroom and you know and switch with his own uh, restroom. So let me show you what the uh, closet looks like, then I'll take you right into the bathroom. There you have it. Um, he has his own stand, you know, a little step. You can put your shoes, you can put your bags here, and everything in between. It's a little bit dirty, so. What do you think I'm going to do? Blue tape. <laughs> so I'm going to stick a blue tape there. I know the cleaning crew has not come around to do the cleaning. That will be done maybe Monday or Tuesday. But just as a reminder for them to know. Alright. Here we are in the bathroom. The bathroom is... Uh, I like it. And there's a few things I like in the bathroom. Yeah, I really like uh, this uh, space. It's not too big, but we made it, you know, to be sufficient enough for whoever, you know, our guests to live in this property. The floor is, everything here is brand new, everything here is brand new. What I like here is, I like when you have a restroom, I like when you have a bathroom that you have a, you know, like, a like a step that you can sit, you, if you want to, you know, shower, you want to wash your feet. Um, that is always a good addition to the bathroom. I like when uh, you have a place Oh, that way you can put your soap, you can put your sponge, that uh, you know where you want to uh, when when you finish sh showering. Uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of a blue tape by the shower when the control. That is because uh, the hand is a little bit soft. So uh, if you want me to put on the water, I can put it on for you. But <laughs> it's just uh, the 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 hand is a little bit soft, so I wanted to tighten it a little bit, and that's why we have that one. Um, Maybe you can see the camera woman from the... Maybe she'll show herself today, you know, from the mirror. <laughs> I think that would be cool. I want to say hello to everybody. I think they can see it from there. How about that? Alright. Okay, that's my wife. There she is. She's covering her face with the camera. Don't mind that. So, alright. So, that's it for the master. The master is ready. I like the lights. I like everything that is put there. The mirrors, the dog, the cabinet. Everything is brand new. Uh, we were able to at least create a masterpiece uh, from uh, what from what we have and when we bought it. So if you if, uh, if you're still wondering or if you if you didn't get it at first, it cost around forty thousand to fix everything. Thirty three, thirty five thousand, I think. 
miscellaneous. Everything all in was three two eighty thousand. Yes, two hundred eighty thousand dollars. So let's go outside as we wrap up. Let me show you what the garage looks like. Let me show you the big space that we have. One more thing I forget: we have an ADU, which is an accessory dwelling unit. You can call it grandma's uh, room. You can call it mother-in-law suite. It's going to be something that can add value to the property, you know, for the owner. You know, they can use it as Airbnb, extra uh, you know, place to make quick money. So let's go there before we wrap up the video today. Thank you. garage uh, when we bought the property it was this garage was here this was a door we had a door here but we didn't want it to uh, just be a door we wanted to make sure that this property has its own two garage like every other property so we have a two garage door we added the new garage we added the lift master you know for you to uh, open your gate uh, when you open your garage when you come in one cool thing we did here was we added shoe trucks all around um, the garage painted a little bit just one more time. Uh, I'll show you the final garage door when we're done. I don't want to go in too much. Uh, but things are almost done right here. The garage definitely leads to the kitchen. So when you're coming in from the house, you step in here, you can just go straight into the kitchen from the garage. That's another cool thing. One very good thing I like about this property is the space. Let me show you the space so you understand what I'm talking about. If the camera can follow me, it's quite big. It's quite big. So this is like, you know, from one end of the property, and this needs to be clean. From one end of the property, all the way to the other end of the property. So you can see where I'm coming from. Uh, don't mind all the little stuff on the ground, that needs to be clean. Like I said, then I'll put it. So, this goes all the way from one end to the other end. Now, if I go to the back, you see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go straight to where the uh, garage starts from, you know, when you open the garage. So. See me shining, sweating. Welcome to Texas. It's always the sun is crazy right now. We're in summertime, and the sun is a lot. I'm trying not to get too dark anymore than this. But I think I'm enjoying enough sun back in the Lagos. All right. One cool thing about this place again is the shed. We have a shed whereby you can definitely, if you have tools, you know, uh, if you have tools that you want to keep uh, on the outside, this shed is good for it. I don't have the key to the shed right now. So that's not going to work. But here's the shed, you know, if you are, it goes all the way inside. If you want to put your tools, your stuff uh, that you used to work right there. And uh, finally, on this property, let me show you the ATV. Um, I mean, maybe we should call it the mother-in-law suite. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. The mother-in-law suite, this is going to be a self-contained. We call it ADU, accessory dwelling unit here. Uh, it's going to be a self-contained. We didn't really do much on the inside. We just painted the outside, the inside is still the same way it was when we bought it because um, the, the, whoever the eventual buyers, they are going, they, are, they will be able to do whatever they want with it. You can build a self contained with its own bathroom, kitchen and everything right there. Uh, when we did the estimate, it's going to cost around $10,000, you know, to make sure it's ready, fitted for what, for, you know, to be rented. So you can rent it to a student, you can put your mother-in-law there, you know, put your AC unit and everything right there. Or you can just use it as Airbnb and make an extra income for yourself. So, this is it. This is it. I'm so happy, uh, you know, our, our timeline was within six to eight weeks. We were able to get it done in seven weeks. This is done. I'll be here next week to make sure I work, work with the contractor to make sure all the blue tips are gone anywhere we need to fix. But aside that, that's about it. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you've been following, you'll probably see the improvement or the progress that has been made from episode one and two to where we are right now. I think this is episode three uh, where the rehab has been completed. But thanks for staying, thanks for joining, thanks for hanging in there. Please like, share, subscribe. Uh, my name is Dara Jagede. I'm happy to be here. I'll see you at the next chapter.
Bye.